Hello everybody, it is Father Nick Redmond here uh, with another episode of Exploring St. Joseph's. And I am right here on the balcony of the rectory here. Let me just show you. This is the balcony and there's the church and the big steeple there, the bell tower. I feel like we went exploring up there once a while back. That was before Easter. Beautiful dogwoods. We got the library across the way. And then our hall. And this is our rectory. So it's pretty cool to have a balcony right here uh, where, you know, I can relax, kick up my feet, read a book, pray, enjoy beautiful weather like today's weather. So I'm happy to be here uh, today. And, um, and I do have something to show you, um, but I'm pretty sure very soon we're going to hear the Angelus bell. And when we hear the Angelus bell, what are we going to do? We're going to pray the Angelus, right? All right, so everyone uh, get ready. It should be any second now. We have the Angelus bells. This time I won't be up there and it won't like shake me like it did last time. Uh, and it'll be, uh, we'll be able to hear it. So uh, if you don't remember, just pray the Hail Marys with me as we go along. And uh, we'll pray the Angelus once that bell rings. It should be any second now. I love. Uh, let's let's turn it. There it is. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she conceived of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold, the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done unto me according to thy word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. And blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh, and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech thee, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ thy Son was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection. Through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. All right. So, I'm going to be honest with you. I had plans of giving you a tour of going up some high up places and I was like well maybe I'll, maybe I'll go some down low places crawling and through tunnels and that kind of stuff because there's some cool stuff here at St. Joseph's but the fact of the matter is I'm too tired I'm white I'm still wiped out from the tr triduum you know uh, th this is my first time as a priest where I was a celebrant for all the triduum masses I know Father Brian wanted to be here but he had to be with the seminarians and, um, and so I, I was left to be here. I'm not complaining because I enjoyed it very much, but it, it wiped me out. And uh, yesterday I took a nap, and today I was working pretty hard all day, and I got to be at about 5 o'clock. I was like, I don't think I can go climbing up ladders. I don't think I'm going to be de uh, burrowing in the tunnels today. I think today's tour right here with my feet up, my feet up and relaxing on the balcony here beautiful day it's a beautiful day to enjoy Petersburg outside and I got my book here I've got my book I'm on the two towers and I'm making some good progress but then there's something else I wanted to show you that's really cool um, so you all may know that st. Joseph's Church is very very old uh, our church, uh, as a church, the parish was founded in 1842. Uh, there were original Catholics here in 1820, First Mass, 1820, 200 years ago. And, um, and this rectory here that I'm in, that I'm uh, on the balcony of, um, it, is, it was uh, built in the 1840s, in the 1840s. That's the old, the original part. And then the new section, the, uh, the addition, I guess, was built in the 1860s okay so that's the new part the old part that I'm on right now is the 1840s and there is this really cool old photograph 
of the original church. And I've got it right here. And so let's look at this original picture of the original church. Here it is. The original church. You can see that is one steeple. It's just a different, it's a different church. It was the one that was built here, I think, in 1842. Ben Uzel, who is our parish historian, he could tell us for sure. But there's something really kind of cool that I want to point out. Right there, look at that. That is the rectory. And you see that? I hope you can see it in its uh, good uh, resolution. But the, the balcony that I'm sitting on right now is that balcony in that picture and there are these double doors so let me kind of show you there are the doors oh, our storm door came off and here's my little rolly chair and here's the balcony and that is the same balcony i can even show you oh man i can't i can't get down there but <laughs> i should i wish I, could, I had a little pole or something i could jump down but it's so cool that that is the same building same building you can see the the architectural features. Those uh, I don't know what you call those finials or whatever you call them. Those over there, they're right there. I'm not sure if we'd be able to see these uh, special uh, brackets. I don't know if the resolution is good enough to show that. But that is from the original picture, the oldest picture that I'm aware of, of the church. Built in the 1840s, this of course came down by 1894 when the new church was built. 1894, finished in 1896, dedicated in 1896, and we, a few episodes ago we showed you the I showed you the uh, the cornerstone. So I guess the point of all that is that I wanted to show you a little bit of history. If I'm just going to be taking it easy, going getting lazy on you not giving you a real tour of anything because I'm just too tired. At least I'll show you some some history. And so there you go. This is the uh, this is the uh, the historic, I guess, balcony of St. Joseph's Catholic Church Rectory. And uh, kick up my feet like right now. I kick up my feet and I read my book and I look at the sunset sometimes. Beautiful, beautiful day to just sort of relax and enjoy beautiful Petersburg. So, sorry I couldn't give you any more today, uh, but when I get a little bit more energy and I got a little more uh, uh, fight in me, I'll, uh, <laughs> I'll tackle the, uh, the, um, the stairs to who knows where. I'm gonna, oh, it's gonna be great. And then the, uh, the tunnels and the, the burrowing, uh, that's gonna be a little harder. So, uh, yeah, but just not today. So please forgive me. I hope you all are having a wonderful Easter. Today is, of course, Tuesday within the octave of Easter. And uh, so just to just to let you see, no, Sunday, Easter Sunday is Easter Sunday, right? But it's so big a, an event, the resurrection of the Lord, that it gets exploded into an entire eight days. Easter Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and then the following Sunday, Divine Mercy Sunday, all within the octave of Easter. It's when we get to celebrate Easter and of course it goes even beyond that the whole Easter season lasts 50 days 50 days longer than that forever Lent that we had that Lent that just kept going and going and going Easter goes even more and so uh, uh, I think it says something about the resurrection more powerful overwhelming overwhelming power to defeat the terribleness of sin to defeat this coronavirus, Jesus Christ resurrected, has power over all, and we're in his hands. So enjoy this beautiful day. Hope you uh, find a nice book to read or you can do something else relaxing. And um, God bless you all. It's good to chat with you all. I'll probably be coming back in a couple days. and. Uh